All right, lovers, we are back here with Shane at Motec Machining and Cylinder Mowers today. Shane's got a new product, um, hot off the CNC. I believe it's relatively hot. I don't think it's in the store yet, is it? Not quite. No, not in the store yet, Michael. Maybe coming soon. So Shane, what have you got in your hands there? Okay, um, Michael, what we have here is deflector thumb screws. Okay, so basically I've replicated the original black plastic knob that was on the uh, on the Scott Bonners um, because you can no longer buy them. Um, mm. uh, other people make them. Um, these are different. Mm. I do things a little bit differently. Yep. So here we have a, um, yeah, it really is almost an exact reproduction of the original Scott Bonner, um, which incorporates the, the convex um, head yep. uh, with the difference of... A bit of a, bit of a curve across yeah, the Yeah, same as the original, yeah. Yep. Uh, with the difference that this has a removable um, thread, so that's stainless, brass, nice little neat plastic washer. So cool. when you screw it down onto your nice new shiny powder coat of paint, it doesn't dig into it and damage it. Yeah. Um, something I you know, haven't bothered to make for some time, um, but with the, the six axis machine, they're not a, they're not a drama to make. And uh, I've got a couple of restos on the go, so I wanted a, uh, a few for them. So um, yeah, so I ran a metre of brass through the machine. <laughs> And uh, out come these little gems. Oh, they're, they're very shiny, if nothing else. They look great. I love the just the little attention to details, as always, that Shane puts on these things. It's a little bevel along the edge and the curvature over the top. And, you know, the four, what do you call it, like four star? Yeah, star or something. I guess so, yeah. Just kind of fits yeah. your finger nicely, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, and it compliments the people that are using the, the brass um, height adjuster mm. as well. Yeah. Um, so it compliments them. And, uh, you know, the brass isn't new to Scott Bonner. They did them on the Unicorn, I think, and maybe some of the solid decks. I've got yep. some original solid decks with yep. the round brass knurled yep. things with a screwdriver slot that I hate. Yes. Because it's, oh, you just put a screwdriver in there and damage the brass. Yeah. And, just chews it up, doesn't it? Yeah, and being, being 316 stainless, we shouldn't have any rust issues there. Mm -hmm. um, so these are, yes, I, I really only um, did these last week. Um, and, and uh, yeah, last weekend over last weekend. Um, so the plates are coming, mm -hmm. but they'll go in store as is. Yep. So if people have got their original plates, mm -hmm. uh, they can they can just uh, buy these. So on those are the little L shapes. That are little L shape pinch, yeah, yeah, pinch plate like or whatever. Yeah, um, so they're the same for soil deck and uh, yep. and the twin rail. So uh, if they've got the originals, they can buy these, uh, and then I'll add the plate when I get time to mm -hmm. reproduce the plate. Yeah. So they're just a nice little. Um, addition and they can be buffed and polished there's yeah. a few machine marks on the outside which is quite normal yeah. um, but if you auto sell them and buff them uh, they'll come up shining mm. um, shiny shiny mm -hmm. so Shane what was the material that you're making the little the deflector clamps out of um, haven't decided yet but either stainless or it's like a gal steel mm -hmm. but it's not galvanized it's what they're using in the motor car industry right yeah um, either one or the other. I'll make them here, stamp them here. Yeah. Um, we'll look at stainless. I'm not a fan of stainless on stainless. Yeah. And that's just the galling. Yeah, the galling issue. Thing. And it's okay as long as people treat it the right way. And I think there's been lots of posts on the Reno page about it and all that sort of stuff. But um, we might make the plate out of stainless for the corrosion issue. Mm -hmm. um, and the nut can be 4140 yeah. and welded to that to stop the galling issue. Yeah. So we'll look at uh, we'll look at the options there when the time comes. Yeah. But for the moment, we'll offer these for people who already have the plates. Yeah. I just want to ask you on that. So I've I've on the same mower, I've had two different plates with uh, you know different length arms, different ho you know, holes in slightly different positions. Yeah. And you know, no idea how these arrived on the same machine. They're obviously parts, I guess, that have come from different different machines or different suppliers, but um, what sort of, what's the model that you'd be sort of targeting with with that? Are yeah. you sort of going for one or both or? Yeah, no, it'll be a standard. Of, <laughs> the problem I have making all this stuff is, is finding, <laughs> every time, you, if you had 10 of them, it'll be different. I think the Scott Bonner is probably the most consistent, the original, mm -hmm. but when you've got the GA one and you've got someone else's, someone else's, someone else's, you get this, this mismatch. Mm -hmm. And that's why I put slots in a solid decks. Mm -hmm. to alleviate that because if the hole's in the wrong place and it kicks it over on an angle yeah. and it won't do what it's designed to do yeah. and that's pinch the little tang on the deflector yeah. then the thing comes loose, falls behind the reel, reel chops it up, yeah. uh, not good. 
Um, so the twin rail is, is I move the hole in the twin rail, um, but uh, on the, on the solid deck um, because you've got a thickness, different thickness in the material there as well yeah. of the deck itself. Yeah. I decided to swap them. So if people have got a mismatch in them, it, it alleviates that. But the twin decks a little little different. I haven't had an issue with the twin decks with the different styles. Yeah. yeah. But mine will be these are Rover copies yeah. and the plate will be the same. Yeah, I have several of the original ones here and I'll copy so those. MMM, MMCM consistent, if nothing else then, right? Yeah, yeah, and I mean, um, yeah, we're copying Scott Bonner. Yeah. We're not copying someone else, we're simply copying Scott Bonner that's no longer available or it's a non-generic part made out of China. Yeah. China, no. Yeah, and they're not plastic. So. Not plastic, not plastic. Nice shiny brass, quite, yeah. quite heavy. And of course you can always, you could always drill a hole and give them to the wife for uh, for birthday. <laughs> and I think the only other distinguishing feature here was that you mentioned that the 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 thread on the the grub screw or the grub screw itself is made out of well, it's, it's stainless steel rather, rather than yeah. brass as yeah. well. So that's yeah. it's not one piece; it's the two. Yeah, the two yeah. To me, making it out of one piece would make it very fragile, particularly in brass. So you just get that extra strength with the stainless for that. Oh, absolutely. The yeah. Yes, that's right. 10 mil, I think, into yeah. 8 mil, I think, uh, that's threaded in there, locked tight, locked in. Um, if you did damage the thread, you can unscrew it and, sh and replace and it. Replace it. Yeah, nice. um, but yeah, to make that a one piece brass, uh, to me, wouldn't be, hmm. um, wouldn't be, uh, be something a, I would do. A great long term solution, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, no, it wouldn't be. And we've added a little plastic, nice little plastic washer here. Yeah. Which is a uh, nice little touch there. Yeah, it just, just makes it nice. Just, yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I think by the time this video is up, these will be in the store. They'll be in the store. And don't, the clamps maybe as well by that point, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. The clamps might be a little little while. Yeah. Um, we'll get these up in the store, uh, and then the the the, uh, the pinch plates will come later. Yeah. Cool. Great. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye out for those. Um, and meanwhile, don't forget to uh, hit like if you enjoyed today's video, guys. Uh, feel free to subscribe, of course. Uh, send us a tip, anything like that. And uh, we'll see you back here, Shane, for the next one. Thanks again, Shane, as always for showing us the latest and greatest out of the shop. Thank you, Michael. See you guys.